Hi all, in this video, let's learn about automatic batching in React.js. So apart from this, we'll try to learn, understand what is batching, how it works in React 17 and other versions, and what was changed in React 18 version, because automatic batching was introduced in React 18 version. So let's see all this with examples. Firstly, this is a React 17 application. So when I click this button, this piece of function is executing. And we have two state updates here, fine. So now let's understand what is batching. Batching means you React will group this multiple state updates and it will does only a single render of the component. So that is the mean by batching. So let's see that with an example. So I will just look at this. And now if I click this, see only once it is rendered. If I click this button, only once it is rendering. It means React is doing the batch pro batch processing here how many states you write how many state updates you do so it will group all these multiple state updates and it will render re-render only once our component okay that is what the react does this is a very good approach it helps us uh, with a better performance and uh, it will it will avoid like unnecessary things like for example if half baked half finished state it is going to show the component it will have some issues you can understand the batching in this way so once we go to the restaurant and we ask the uh, waiter and he, if we tell our first order he will not just immediately go to the kitchen he will wait to complete our order whatever we update all the orders he will make a list and then he will go to the kitchen so in that way we can understand the batch processing okay all these multiple states will be grouped and rendered only a single time so this is React 17 version. This is meant by batching processing. This is happening in React 17 version and earlier versions as well. Now, what was introduced in React 18 version? So before that, we'll understand what is the problem with this one, like where this automatic batching or batch processing is not working. So however, React is doing the batching, but it is not consistent in particular places. It is only consistent when you have React event handler, okay? So if you take here, batching is happening only when you have a React event handler, the batching is happening, but it is not consistent with another places. For example, if you have a fetch, fetch function. So we have a React event. If I click this function, event handler is called. Inside this event handler, we are fetching some data. So this is not a real-time fetch. We have just wrote in a promise to resolve it in 100 milliseconds. Once this promise was resolved, okay, inside this fetch, we have the state updates. What happens here is event is already handled. It is completed. After that, this set states were working. Okay. In this place here, this is a scenario where React is inconsistent. It is not doing the batch processing. It is re-rendering our application twice. So let's see that with an example. So if I click this button, See, it was rendered twice. The reason behind this is by default, React only does this batching processing with the React event handler, okay? Not for the promises, not for the time set timeout, not for the native uh, listeners. These are the three places where React was not doing this batch processing, okay? This is in the React 17 and earlier versions, fine? This is a problem we have with the batch processing. So that is the reason. To in React 18, we have this automatic, the name till now we use this as a batching or batch processing, but we have not used automatic batch processing. In React 18, we call this as an automatic batch processing because this multiple states were processed in a single re-rendered and this was considered as an automatic batch processing. We no need to consider this like in promises, in set timeouts, in native event listeners, everywhere. Wherever it is really needed, the React batch processing was done. Okay, that's the reason we are calling this as a automatic batch processing. Fine. Now what happens? So let's see in a React 18. We are in React 18 application now. If I click an event handler, so here it is there. And now event is handled and fetch component is there. Inside this fetch component, we are updating the states. So it, it now if you see, if I click only, it handles only once. So let me click it once. See only the render was happened once. This is what the automatic batch processing mean, okay? Uh, this is, this log event is just a component just to verify whether how many times it is rendered or not. So this is about 
automatic batch processing in React. So not just for uh, fletching. So I will show you an example. So in React 18, now generally if you write in a React event, so this is batch processed. It means only single time our component would be rendered. If you use a set timeout and inside if you update the states also, here also React in React 18, the automatic batching processing would be happened in the set timeout, in the fetch, in uh, native event handlers. If you take this is a DOM element, we are adding an event handler to that. So even here also automatic batch processing happens. So not just these three places, wherever it is really needed for this automatic batch processing that would be happened in the React 18. So these are the places it would be happened. So sometimes people feel like they don't want to have this automatic batch processing. So then we have an option called plus sync. So this should be imported from React DOM, not from React. This fetch sync is there in React, not in React DOM. Sorry, it is there in React DOM. So we need to import this from React DOM, uh, flesh sync. And this is how, when you handle this click event, if you don't want automatic batch processing, you need to make that state inside this fetch sync. So if you do this, once this function code is executed, by this time, React will update the DOM, okay? It will not do batch processing. So in order to avoid the batch processing, you need to import this flesh sync from React DOM and use that like this. You need to wrap uh, the state updates with this fetch sync. Now, after this, this state would be updated. And then on, then again, the React would be re-rendered. So it, it's like avoiding the batch processing and make, sh make sure like you wanted to update each state and want to render that in the DOM. So then this is the option we have. So hope you understand what is batching, what is automatic batching, where automatic, uh, like uh, in React 17, what was the problem we have, okay, due to this event was already completed. Okay, that's the reason this set states were not batch processed in React 17 and earlier versions. So that's the reason in React 18, we are calling this as an automatic batch processing. Okay, hope I have given a clear idea about what is automatic batch processing. And if you don't want that, what you need to do is a fresh sync. I think I have covered all the scenarios. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks. Thank you.